hey guys, this is team 57, fee control. So the problem we found is fecal incontinence. It's kind of an embarrassing problem, but it's where the person can't control the rectum. So they have fecal matter leaking through their rectum, which is a huge problem and also very embarrassing. Solution we've come up with is a temporary disposable anal plug. It's inserted into the rectum and it stops leakage. So we want to take a step back and focus on the actual pain point of what we're dealing with with this problem. And that's two things. So that's fear of embarrassment and that's the inability to enjoy daily activity. So fear of embarrassment, that's pretty obvious, right? And also inability to enjoy daily activities, meaning people who before like to hike, go to church, spend time with family can no longer do that because they have this fear of embarrassment because they have the problem of fecal incontinence. So the value proposition addresses both those pain points. A way for those suffering from fecal incontinence to enjoy daily activities without the fear of embarrassment. So a quick look at the market. Over 5.5 million Americans have fecal incontinence. And that's actually a low estimate because a lot of people who have this problem won't come out with it because it is so embarrassing. And the growth of that, it's actually from 20, 2000 to 2030, the geriatric population will double to about 72 million people. So the people who have fecal incontinence are most likely geriatric patients. So that's why we're focusing on that growth. Alternate solutions. So as we were talking with patients who had this problem, they weren't satisfied with the current solutions on the market. There's medication, bowel training, pelvic floor exercise, you have surgery and electrical stimulation. So let's take a look at one of these. Surgery is very invasive. People have to go in for surgery, then they have to recover. And the people who went for the surgery weren't very satisfied. They did still have the problem or wasn't as effective as they wanted it to be. So that's when we had to develop a better solution. Quick look at the market again. We can segment, segment this market based on different things. So we can look at the geriatric population versus the younger population. So not only do geriatric people have this problem, there's older, also younger people who have this problem. Then we can also segment it based on the severity of the issue. So how bad they have fecal incontinence. So the customers are obviously fecal incontinence sufferers. And then we plan to sell it through gastroenterologist recommendation. So this is our device right here. It's this anal plug that gets inserted into the rectum. It has this opening at the top that you can't very much see, but it allows for gas exchange. It's also comfortable. It forms around the shape of the rectum, so people don't very, they don't even feel it when they have it in. It's disposable, it's easy to use. It comes in different sizes for different types of patients. And it basically lasts for four hours. So people who can no longer hike or go to church or enjoy time with their family before can now do this because they have this anal plug here. Thank you.